Hello, good morning, guys. Welcome to another online English class. My name is teacher Lorena, and we're gonna continue with unit six of the book. We're gonna review the topics that we were checking on the previous classes. So we're gonna start with the next topic. Okay, in here we have a text. And basically in this text, we have some of the words that we have already checked. Um, I am sure you remember the relative pronouns. In here we have them in bold in the text. And this is like a um, biography of someone. It's about Kyla Kluber. And in here it says, Kyla Kluber was born in 1992 in Wisconsin, where she grew up with her two sisters and lots of pets. Kyla had already been writing short stories for several years when she started her first novel in July 2006, which she later titled Legacy. She first finished uh, she finished, sorry, the first draft eight months later and editing the manuscript took another seven months. She sent it away to publishers and literally, literary agents. But Kyla was a young writer who had never been published before and Legacy fought for attention with the hundreds of new books that publishers received every week. In the end, her mother, whose main job were as a lawyer and business professor, decided to create her own company to publish her book. Kyla promoted Legacy Online and by, and by going to schools, libraries, and bookstores. The novel, which has already won several awards, finally attracted the major publisher in 2011. Legacy, which has now become a bestseller in the first, is the first in a trilogy. The second book, Allegiancy, was published in 2012, and the final book in the series, Redemption, followed soon after. Her latest book, The Queen's Choice, was published in early 2014. Kyla normally writes in her bedroom, where she works from 10 at night till 4 in the morning. The reason why she works at night is that she says her brain is more active. Kyla writes a, num a minimum of 1,000 words a day. So this was the story of Kyla Kluver. Uh, I hope you follow the reading. And in here we can find all the relative pronouns, okay? So what you are going to do for um, our English class in Zoom, you are gonna send me these questions answered, okay? It says read them again and answer the questions. There you have the text, okay? You can pause the video so you can check the correct answers. And these are the questions. When did Kyla begin to write her first novel? Why was it so hard to, for her to find a publisher? How did the family eventually publish Legacy? What did Kyla do to promote her novel? What is her uh, routine for writing every day? You're gonna answer those questions in the Zoom class by chat, okay? I am going to call attendance when you uh, write your name on the chat and also the answers all together, only the answers for the questions, okay? So moving on, in here we have grammar. That's why she works at night. A, 
What do the bold words in the text describe? Letter B. Complete the sentences. Are they any true for you? So, the first one. I never go outside a space it rains. What do you think it, it could be the possible answer in that sentence? Think about it. Do you already have the answer? Okay. In here we, we are going to use the relative pronouns. The first one, the answer, we are talking about I never go outside. We need the word when because we are talking about time. Okay. Number two, I don't like beaches, space, there are a lot of people. So what is the answer? Exactly. Where? Because we are talking about a place. Number three, I never get along well with people are arrogant and sarcastic. The answer is who? Because we are talking about people. And remember, when we talk about people, we have to say who. You can also use that. But in this case, it's better to use who. I never understood math in grade school. A space is a space. I can't do it now. So the correct answer could be which is why, okay? Which is why they are explaining something. I can't do it now. Finally, number five. I don't like movies, a space, have violence. So we're talking about the movies. What the answer could be? That, excellent. Because remember, when we are talking about things as movies, in this case, you are going to use that, okay? So now we're gonna do a, an exercise. Let me erase all of this. We're gonna do an exercise that is a listening, okay? It says, uh, number three, listening. Exercise A, listen to a review of legacy. What kind of book is it? So you're gonna listen and you're gonna check or tell me what is the correct um, type of book, okay? The kind of book that it is. Mystery, science fiction, or fantasy romance. So here we go. Track four. Now it's time for our weekly book review with Louise. Thanks, Bob. And hello to our listeners. So, which book do you recommend for us today? It's the first book in a trilogy called Legacy. The book has been out for some time as an ebook, but it's only recently come out in paperback. It was written by a young writer named Kayla Kluver, and it's set in an imaginary land called Hytanica which has been at war for 100 years with a nearby kingdom, Kokiri. Ah, so it's a fantasy novel. Yes, and it's set in medieval times. The main character is a 16-year-old princess called Alara, who must get married before she turns 18. Go on. Alara's father wants her to marry Steldor, who is arrogant and vain. So she doesn't marry him. Hold on. A mysterious boy called Narian arrives from Kokiri. He says that he is originally from Hytanica 
and that he was kidnapped when he was a baby. Aha, a love rival. And I imagine that Narian is a much nicer guy than Stell. Um, Sheldon. Steldor, Bob. Do you even listen? But yes, he is. So, of course, Princess Solera falls in love with Narian. Well, it's not that simple, Bob. There's a legend about Narian that terrifies the people of Hytanica, you see, and nobody trusts him. Ah, so who does she marry? Sorry, Bob. You'll have to read the book if you want to learn any more. I think I will. It sounds excellent. Definitely. It's a beautiful story about a young girl's struggle for happiness, and it has brilliant characters and exciting legends. And guess what? The next two novels in the trilogy, Allegiance and Sacrifice, are even better. Thanks, Louise. Okay, so did you listen to the answer? Okay, let's check the answers. So in here we have, what kind of book is it? If you say uh, science fiction, I think you have to listen again because it's a fantasy romance, okay? Now it says, listen again and complete the sentences. If you want, you can replay the video so you can listen again or you can um, complete the rest of the sentences with me, okay? So in the first one, we have, listen again and complete the sentences. Number one, is at war with Kokiri. Who do you think it is? Yes, it's Hitanika. That is the correct answer for number one. Now it says, is the princess of Hitanika. Exactly. It's Alera. Then we have the next. Must get married before she turns 18. Excellent. Also, Alera. Has chosen Stelroff for her husband. Yeah, it's like obvious. Alera's father. Then we have the next is arrogant and vain. Who is that character? Stellar. And finally, was kidnapped from Hital. Hitanika as a baby. Exactly. Narian, the last one. Okay. So take notes, please, because I am going to be asking you to send me your evidence that you were watching the video. So write the answers on your notebook. They are going to be with the evidence of the Zoom class. So it's gonna be only one um, one thing, okay, in your notebook. So excellent, very good. Uh, I hope you have copied that, and we're gonna move on. Next, we have in here some vocabulary, okay? It says, find these things in your book. I think you already have it, or you already know it. And then, just to finish, we are gonna continue with lesson two. Looks aren't that important. I don't know if you remember, but we already checked this vocabulary, okay? 
It is about hair, height, build, uh, dress, and age. I gave you this in some class that we already saw. So you already know this vocabulary. If not, go to my video and check again the vocabulary, okay? So in here it says, listening. Listen to Jayshree and Rodrigo. This, who thinks personality is more important than looks? Listen again and answer the questions. Number one, who does Jayshree describes her physique? How does, okay? The first one is how. Number two, who does I see wants to look like? Number three, what does Rodrigo say models look like? And number four, does Rodrigo wear cool clothes? So you're gonna listen and we're gonna answer A and B, okay? So this is the last exercise to finish. Track five. Hey, Jayshree, you look sad. What's wrong? Well, to be honest, I'm a little down about my appearance. I'm a little overweight, you see, and I'm not tall enough. What? Don't be silly. You look great. You're just saying that. Look at me. The blouse I'm wearing has a stain on it and my hair is a mess. Whatever. Looks aren't that important. The things that really matter are your personality and intelligence. I don't know, Rodrigo. I'd love to look like a top model. But the models that you see in magazines aren't normal, Jay. They're incredibly thin and they look really weird when they walk. Do you think? Definitely. And anyone who thinks that you have to be skinny to be beautiful is just wrong. But the clothes they wear are fantastic. And you can only wear clothes like that if you're tall and slim. Whatever. Look at me. I don't wear cool clothes and I still look okay, right? Um... Jay? Rodrigo, you always wear the same jeans and jacket and you never comb your hair. Hey, are you saying I'm scruffy? Okay, so let's answer to finish. Number one, what do you think uh, she's describing to herself? Okay, she says that she's a little overweight. Do you remember what is overweight? And not tall enough okay so basically she's saying that about herself she's saying that she's like a little bit chubby could be and not that tall that she wanted to be okay so in the second one it could be um who does jay wants to look like she wants to look like a top model. Because she says that they are skinny and they always look good, but not all the time. Then it says, what does Rodrigo say models look like? They are He says that they are very, very thin. Okay? So they look weird and when they walk. So yeah, he he doesn't like like 
them top models. So, does Rodrigo wear cool clothes? What do you think? No, he doesn't. He's always wearing the same jeans and the same jacket and the hair looks scruffy, okay? And all of him. So, this is the exercise of the listening. Um, I hope you are taking notes of the class. Um, later, we're gonna continue with some topics. We're gonna do some uh, speaking activities and we're gonna continue answering the book, okay? With the activities that we have been checking. So, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna see you on the Zoom class. Have a nice day and I hope to see you soon. Uh, and by the way, take care, do your homework, do your work, please, okay? Because I'll be checking that work. So, goodbye, see you guys.